I mean, I hung out with Banksy in 2005 when Scene had a show out in London and Scene told me, yo, let's go hang out with this guy Banksy. At the time, you know, I wasn't into canvas as much. I had just started. I was more into doing burners on the streets still. So, you know, they said this guy's huge in the street art world, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know, hey, cool, let's go chill with him. The guy was cool, you know, he bought us beers, he gave us some Cuban cigars. And it was kind of shocking because when he met me, he was like, yo, it's an honor to meet you, you're a legend. I used to watch you back in the early um, 80s and the 90s. And I'm like listening to him like, it's kind of shocking to hear that from him. But I didn't know too much about him until I went back to New York and I Googled him and people was like, you met Banksy? Like if I met God, it was kind of crazy. I was, it was like, this shit is crazy. I didn't know it was that serious. But I knew when I told him, yo, let's take a pic. Cause you know, I like taking pics for anyone. He was like, no, I don't take pictures. I was like, oh, all right, cool. Cause he was like, he told me the whole, he broke it down. So I, I respected it, but he was a cool dude. And he wanted to go to the studio to do something with me on a canvas. He wanted me to do my bubble throw up. Cause he said he loved my bubble throw up. It was something he's always watched for many years. Cause he used to write graffiti as well. Yeah. Before he did the, the, the stencil stuff he does now, you know, Banksy stuff. So that's why he always looked up to me, coming from London and I'm from New York, the Bronx. So I was like, all right, cool, I'm down. And scene was like, yo, let's go, buddy. Let's do something with this guy, this guy's huge. So I'm like, let's go just to have fun. But I had bring a friend of mine, this kid who wrote Pulse. He's like a hardcore graffiti writer in London. He don't like things. So he started a big argument with the guy. He was like, I'm not going to the studio to paint with the fucking sellout artistic. Yo, they just went at it and I tried to tell Pulse, Yo, dude, chill out. Like, respect the guy. Whatever he does is his business. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at the guy because, you know, you can't be mad at the well, guy. He's not painting over your shit, you know? No, but he wanted us to go to his studio and paint with him, you know? And Seam was like, yo, you should, man. This will be good, like, a cool look. But the guy Post was like, no, let's go to the wall and do something real in the street. And I'm like, dude, we're having a good, he just fucked the whole shit up. And since I came with Post, Post said he didn't like the guy. I don't like banks, he's a fucking sellout. You know, it's always graffiti writers always bitching and whining about something. And it's like you're a grown man and you're whining about a fucking other artist. Like, dude, just do it yourself. Don't worry about the next artist. So he just fucked the whole shit up. So I didn't want I didn't go with Banksy to a studio and I said, look man, it's good meeting you. And I said we kept it moving and I had said the same story I said now, but in for that movie, exit through the gift shop, but they never aired it. Which is cool. So now we're here, we talk about Ron English.